Hi guys, I'm so happy to be with you on this Sunday. This is the last Sunday of our series, Way Beyond Myself. And so we're going to learn about another miracle today, but first I'm gonna pray us in. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for everything that you've given us. I pray that we come here with open hearts and open minds and ready to hear what you have to say. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, before we dive into our stories, we're gonna remember the three things that we've been focusing on, that Jesus can heal, Jesus can forgive sins, and Jesus can do the impossible. So, if you have your Bible with you, go ahead and turn to Matthew 17, verses 24 through 27. But this week is gonna be a little different. I want you to sit down, I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to listen to this story because this is a story you probably haven't heard before, and it's kind of hard to understand. So go ahead and sit down and close your eyes. After Jesus and his disciples arrived in Capernaum, the collectors of the two drachma tam temple tax came to Peter and asked, doesn't your teacher pay the temple tax? Yes, he does, he replied. When Peter came into the house, Jesus was the first to speak. What do you think, Simon, he asked. From whom do the kings of the earth collect duty and taxes? From their own children or from others? From others, Peter said. Then the children are exempt, Jesus said to him. But so that we may not cause offense, go to the lake and throw out your line. Take the first fish you catch, open its mouth, and you will find a four drachma coin. Take it and give it to them for my tax in yours. All right, you can go ahead and open your eyes. So that was kind of complicated, but let's break it down. So first, what is religious tax? Once a year, a religious tax for temple service was taken from people. This tax was not something that God had commanded, but something that had become a tradition among people. But not everyone had to pay it. There were certain wise men, scholars, and family of royal line who didn't have to pay the tax. So what do you think Jesus said about this tax? Well, we see in verse 25 through 26, Jesus said to Peter, what do you think? From whom do the kings of the earth receive toll or tribute? From their sons or from strangers? And Peter's answers was from strangers. So Jesus said, therefore, sons are exempt. In other words, sons don't have to pay the tax. Jesus, being who he was, the son of God, shouldn't have had to pay that tax. But there was a problem because he didn't want to cause an uproar. So he told Peter to go to the lake and cast out a line, and the first fish he caught, there would be a four drachma coin inside with, so that they could pay their tax. And that's so crazy that Peter went to the lake and caught a fish and it had coins in his mouth. Jesus didn't worry when he didn't have enough money. He simply told Peter to go get the fish and he trusted his father, our God. And with God, all things are possible. And God can do the impossible, even pull money out of a fish's mouth. So instead of worrying about what we can't do, God wants us to trust in what he can do. And so that kind of wraps up our lesson, um, our, um, oh my goodness. So sorry. So I'm gonna start from instead of worrying about what we can't do, we can trust, is that good? Cool, okay. Instead of worrying about what we can't do, God wants us to trust in what he can do. And so that's kind of the theme and the wrap up of our series called Way Beyond Ourselves because we can trust that God can do the things we can't do and God can do the impossible. All right, so before we leave, we're gonna do our, our memory verse one last time, Mark 10, verse 27. So with man, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. One last time, Mark 10, 27. With man, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. It was so good to be with you guys this week. So excited for what you guys have learned. And I'm gonna wrap us up with a prayer. 
Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for the lessons that we've learned. Thank you for the truth that you've taught us through this, this word and this lesson, God. I pray that we take this with us throughout our week and that we trust you and we do not worry. And do you say I pray? Amen.